bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Con criminals are targeting seniors. Learn how to protect yourself or a loved one. Hello and thanks for joining us. You're watching Comcast Newsmakers and I'm Linda Kurtz. Joining me this hour is Bob Bird and he's the owner of Home Instead Senior Care. And today we're talking about scams targeting local seniors. Bob, thanks for joining us today. Uh, nice to be here. Why are seniors more susceptible? Why are they being targeted for scams? Uh, well, there are a number of reasons. First of all, uh, seniors or folks after the age of 70 are about 50% more likely to fall prey to some of these scams. And for seniors, there are issues of time. They, they're more time available to expose themselves to the opportunity of being conned. And there are emotional reasons. Elderly people often are lonely, are more susceptible to someone coming and uh, working their way into their confidence. And the other reason is, quite frankly, with the increase in age-related dementias, judgment is just not as, not as good. Yeah, and they're more susceptible, absolutely. It's a shame. What are some of the most common scams that are plaguing seniors? Yeah. There are a number of sweepstakes, home improvement, but this time of year, uh, tax time. There are a lot of scams that are related to taxes. Uh, the usual ones of promising a large uh, return, uh, getting a lot of money back, but having to put money out up front in order to get that money, this should raise an enormous red flag. And there's, uh, there's a new scam that's coming around, which is really, I think, quite dangerous, which is people will masquerade, uh, callers will call uh, an elderly person and masquerade as someone from the IRS. Ooh. saying that uh, you've uh, now qualified for or overpaid on your Social Security going back uh, 10 years or so, and that the government owes you a sum of money, and we want to get it to you right away. And uh, they will solicit bank account information for direct deposit, which is, of course, is a fiction. Uh, they'll want to verify a Social Security number, so they get that. And by the time the elderly person has figured this out, they can clean them out. So be very wary of people calling and identifying themselves as being with the IRS, either directly through uh, email or telephone or, uh, or any other means of solicitation. I guess identity theft is a biggie there then. Identity theft is unfortunately growing as a problem and we just have to be aware that unfortunately seniors are not aware of the perils of having this information mm -hmm. disclosed and then what people can do with it. So having somebody looking over the shoulder of your senior loved one is really important. You can't take for granted that they are managing their finances in their own best interest. Right. Well, let's talk more about how we can protect ourselves or a loved one. Yeah. Well, one of the key things, and, and the thing you ought to remember is elderly people, even if they are aware that they have been scammed, are often reluctant to come forward. They're embarrassed about, oh. you know, and, and of course this, again, plays into the whole area of risk and why they're so vulnerable. But I think the most important thing is to just understand to never give out that personal information, uh, primarily your social security number, and also have someone looking over the shoulder and helping watch finances. Uh, don't take anything for granted in terms of how they are managing their own, uh, their, own, uh, their own money. Right. If someone is a victim of a scam, what should they do? Well, if there's a family member, the family member knows who identify. And some of these, it's kind of on a sliding scale. Better Business Bureau is a good, we're members of that. That's a good place to start. Some of these things ver uh, actually go into criminal behavior and you must notify police. But again, sometimes a family member is better assisting them to do that because they'd be reluctant or afraid to do it on their own. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's really valuable information. Thank you. This hour's newsmaker has been Bob Bird, owner of Home Instead Senior Care. I'm Linda Kurtz for Comcast Newsmakers. Thanks for watching.